guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 2 of The Salt Lilies. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I hate the fact that we have to have not only one, but two, like, intros before we can watch the dang episodes. That was literally, like, 13 seconds. Oh, you too early for me. <laughs> yeah, and it looked like Shizu ain't a morning person. That's cute. I mean, it's smart, but cute. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> um, <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I don't know why now, like, the more I listen to Roz in this opening, and especially listening to Lair, and listening to the PV version of this opening, it sounds completely different to me, because she, especially when she does, like, the first two or three lines, she projects her voice a lot more, and it feels like with this opening version, she's, like, more quiet, and Chu Tu's character, um, Say you goes a lot deeper into it. I don't know. That's just me. Somebody else probably recognized it, but probably didn't say anything like I did. I just want this song and Vanity. That's it. But we gotta wait until like the end of the month, I believe, because it ain't even out on Apple Music for me. I mean, yeah, you could have gotten killed. Oh, you could have killed Kai. Yeah, you're not the first. Okay. Oh, no, no. Endo? Oh, okay. The one who <laughs> is like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but you know, she went from New Yu to Vivi, and she was like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, just, you know, the ones that are in the girls. <laughs> How the hell did she get out so quickly? <laughs> oh, there's a star! Oh. 
person's not going to say anything. I'm not going to say Union's being a bitch because she has the reason why. But mm -hmm. I still love her. Come here, pup. Oh, there you are. Sure it is, Coyote. Yeah, that is a little weird because you would think Kayede would be in a completely different class than these two. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you used to I didn't really want to say anything. See, now just looking at this artwork, I'm getting <laughs> this is our shade girl and I'm freaking over here. Hmm. No, 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 no. She don't hate you. She's just, you know, a loner. Don't worry, y'all will work together again soon. Maybe by episode five. Nope, she wants to know now. <laughs> exactly, it takes time. You, you're you not going to get it by tomorrow or next week. It could at least take you a month, maybe even like a year. But because she, you know, she protagonist goon, she gonna get it probably in like two days. <laughs> see, it also makes me wonder if we're gonna see the girls who are gonna be in the game for the other schools. But possibly not. I, I think we're just focusing on this one school only. And then when the game comes out, here's all the other schools.
it's probably good enough. Hmm. Ain't that funny? Really, I thought she'd be like a third year. No, it's just a fan curling. <laughs> Can you continue? Of course. <laughs> Oh, if only she stayed there a little bit longer. That's it. Oh. I thought it would like burst or like glisten or something. <laughs> oh. Poor baby. Mm -hmm. Did, 
Okay, hold up. Okay. I thought she ate all that virus. I feel like... Okay, so then why did you go from that to the other? Of course. Still makes me think something about her partner. But, mmm, this is only episode two. Yeah, you know, it feels more cold. I mean, no, you was on there. You could have just continued, but no. She has to tell us when she's ready. Yeah, she was sweet, and now she's cold and distant. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not her partner that died, who else would it be? Maybe like a family member or a friend that was really close to her. But the fact that her partner showed up at the end of episode one and we have not seen her since, it makes the most sense. I can't wait. I know. She too much, but I love her. She's gonna say no, isn't she? Mm. Oh, shit. I mean. I thought she was going to walk away. Rip! Are you going to play? I thought you would at least wait until episode 3 or 4. She did a little smile. That's okay. Slowly but surely, she getting warmed up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take time.
really just so positive. I love that about her. Now, see, if she actually walks up and, like, embraces her, I don't know. No, she's there. Yeah. I don't know. Because <laughs> the way it's going, it still makes me feel like you knew looking at her former partner, her roommate, could be the figurative of her imagination that she's just imagining her up and she's still traumatized about what happened that day, which we don't know, but she's possibly dead because we don't even know that answer either. This is only episode two and we're probably going to get that answered maybe by like four or five possibly I don't know but I, I felt like with the last few moments of this episode that you knew she would have turned around and we would have thought nobody and it would have been like well there's our answer right there but no it's not that simple this is a good episode I mean from going on to last week's episode and how it started this show going into a really nice calm episode them just relaxing, getting ready for class and, ish and stuff like that. And even Lily asking <laughs> to be partners in the fact that she accepted. I wasn't really, I was surprised, but at the same time, I wasn't. And you show a freaking bouquet of flowers near a grave. That means something. Mm. Uh, I was expecting her to immediately say no and be like, mm -mm, you're not ready yet. I was assuming that she was going to at least wait until four, five, or six and be like, yeah, let me take a chance on you. But the fact that she said it in episode two, it is a little different. I wasn't expecting that at all, but I, I hope it's good for them because this is going to be, you know, Riri's chance to finally prove herself to Union and to be a little bit better <clears throat> than she was in last week's episode because she was good, but she still needs a little more hand-eye coordination and figuring stuff out. She's still a newbie, and, you know, she's about to work with someone who is, like, essentially OP as hell. And, mm, we just hope she doesn't, like, mm, well, essentially, Riri embarrassed her, like, last week, and that's why I get what um, Union essentially said to her. But I think, you know, going on from the rest of this series, maybe, I don't know, she might not embarrass her again. But let's also talk about the obvious thing. I didn't say this last week because I knew it was going to pop up in my comment section, and it did pop up in my comment section. Um, I even said it, like, around several months ago when the trailer came out originally for March, and we were getting to March, and it came, but because of COVID, it got postponed to this. Um, so many people are instantly comparing this to Ruby. And I get that. Yes, it's very similar to Ruby because of some things, but there's still some different areas things, um, and such. But this, I think, came out... Oh, God. When did the figures for this show come out? Like, 2005 or six? I don't know. It really long time ago. And Ruby came out, I don't even know when Ruby came out. I don't even watch Ruby anymore because it used to be good and now I, I don't really know. But I, I mean, because like everybody was asleep comparing this to Ruby. And I was like, I get it, I get it, I know, I know. I was like, I immediately see it too, the like similarities and stuff. But there were so many people who are like really, really supportive of this series and really, really like those types of fans who went off on people comparing this to Ruby? And I'm like, it's not a bad thing to compare it to Ruby because you instantly see the similar uh, similarities and differences between these two shows because of the fact is, yes, they hold, it's cute anime girls 
holding these big ass weapons and such like that. I mean, it's the same thing with Ruby, except it's co ed in that show, while this show is just like just nothing but girls and such. But I mean, yeah, it's so good no matter what. I, mean, I think if you instantly, continuously going into this show, honestly, keep comparing it to Ruby, you're probably not gonna enjoy this show as much. So, yeah. Kind of tone it down. I don't know. I'm just saying that. I mean, because, like, after episode one, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to, like, say that ish. But I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and say this real quick. But this episode was good. I mean, Kayeda was good in it. Kayeda is just. <laughs> Kayeda, fool me is fool me. Fool me is just, like, the cute, adorable fangirl best friend that you just want. Who <laughs> freaks out over everything. She's too adorable, but. Yeah, this is a good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Assault Lily. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode three. Bye, guys.